all the other sub countries to come together. Within the countries, sir, both the government and the public organizations should act decisively to detect smuggling networks, and the law enforcement agencies must develop a certain momentum and a national plan that should be involved which coordinates efforts for drug eradication at all levels. Finally, sir, I should say a word about the larger problem which again comes in the way of this expression of the composite culture of the country and that is the anxiety of our people about violence and disorder which plagues the life of our country today. The constitution of India does not sanction violence in any form. And as a matter of fact, if one relates the provisions of the constitution to the gravity of problems facing our country, we can perhaps see a national task in which Indian people can to reconciliation and trust engage in a social experiment of the widest significance. The international stature of India. I had the privilege, sir, to be Secretary of the Indian Delegation to the United Nations at the 16th session. And I remember Pandit Nehru moving a resolution for a year of cooperation. That was the time, sir, when we felt that the international status of India and the greatness of Indian civilization demanded that we all exercise patience and self-restraint and shape a future for liberty, peace and power. Uh, to listen up on Professor Swami Sathya of Kanjawala University. I have been proud to say that the society for the... Mr. Dr. S.P. Vaidh, the chairperson of the Indian Dinaki, National Youth League, the Sudhartan Karta, and the Kendri Sansada Mantri, Father Nye Chushankar Ji, और एसपी वाइन से जुड़े हुए समाज साथी इससे पहले भी मैं अपनी बात शुरू करूं सबसे पहले आपको और खास तौर से जीवन जी को बधाई देना चाहूंगा कि उन्होंने बड़े अच्छे ढंग से इस कार्यक्रम को आयोजित किया ये सोसाइटी जिस मकसद से बनाई गई सांप्रदायिकता के खिलाफ ड्रग सेवन के खिलाफ ड्रग एडिक्शन को दूर करने के लिए भाई अभिलेवाद के खिलाफ सोशल एवेंस को दूर करने के लिए उस मकसद को पूरा करने में ये सोसाइटी काफी आगे आई है इसके लिए मैं आप सबको बधाई देता हूँ जैसा कि मेरे से पूर्व वक्ताओं ने बताया कि आज की खास जरूरत हमारे मुल्क के लिए हमारे देश के लिए क्या है ये बड़ी खुशी की बात है कि नेशनल यूथ मीट का जो इनाग्रेशन करने के लिए जिन सज्जन को बिना आदरणीय श्री शंकर जी को वो अपने आप में विषय विशेषज्ञ और उनसे अच्छा इस नीत के नीत के उद्घाटन के लिए कोई और पर्सनैलिटी हो नहीं सकती आज के हालातों पर प्रकाश डाला जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि हमारे देश को आजाद कराने में जो नौजवानों की भूमिका रही आजादी से पहले आजादी के बाद नौजवान साथियों का ये कर्तव्य हो गया है कि वो आजाद भारत को खुशहाल कर सके हमारा आजाद भारत तरक्की कर सके विकास कर सके जैसा कि अभी आपके प्रोग्राम में दिखाया गया कि सुबह विजय चौक से आप लोगों ने नेशनल इंटेग्रेशन के लिए मार्च प्रारंभ किया और शहीद स्थान तक गए वहां आप लोगों ने हमारे देश की एकता और अखंडता की को बरकरार रखने के लिए शपथ ली जैसा कि हमारे देश के प्रथम राष्ट्रपति डॉक्टर सरपण जी की राधा कृष्ण जी ने कहा है कि नेशनल इंटेग्रेशन किसी हथौड़े से या गीत और चूने से पैदा नहीं होगा बल्कि वो विकास से पैदा होगा और देश का विकास कब हो सकता है जब 
देश की नौजवान पीढ़ी देश की तरुणाई इस बात का संकल्प ले कि इस देश के तरक्की के लिए वे कोई और असर बाकी नहीं रखेंगे और अपने कर्तव्य को समझेंगे अपने उत्तरदायित्व को समझेंगे देश का विकास कब हो सकता है जब देश में जो परिस्थितियां हैं उनका आप सही ढंग से आंकलन करें और चुनौतियों का सामना करें जो सामाजिक दूरियां हैं जो सोशल आइडल्स हैं चाहे वह दहेज के रूप में हो चाहे जैसा अशोक चंद्र जी ने बताया सती तथा हमारे देश में जो कुछ जगह पर चालू करने के वो प्रयास कर रहे हैं उसको दूर करने के लिए हो या विदुर खर्ची को दूर करने के लिए हो हमारे देश में तो गांव में ये भी प्रथा है कि यदि किसी का जन्म होता है उसके लिए भी भोज का आयोजन किया जाता है और यदि किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसके लिए भी भोज का आयोजन एक तरफ तो उस परिवार पे आपत्ति पड़ी है दूसरी तरफ उस परिवार पे ये भी दिक्कत होती है कि उसमें जहाँ किसी की मृत्यु हो गई तो भी भोज पहना पड़ता
the patient is not able to recover. The medicals they say and they claim that they can do it, but rehabilitation is still nothing to worry and it is not guaranteed. The person's behavior is very abnormal. These things are to be noticed by the parents. But it is not so. In the affluence, it is not noticed and the sounds will go unknown. So it's here that the social worker has to take to accept that their son or their daughter will be tragic or feeling that it will be a social stigma. And unfortunately, they land up in a mess and it's ultimate. They land in a very pathetic way. The help rendered by the medicals has gone beyond the reach of the tragedies who are from the slums and middle class families before the charges are fixed on them. This is one thing. Second thing, that is about drug trafficking. We read that tons of brown sugar, hashish and everything is being caught and destroyed. But yet, from where does this come? How does these people get procure? The major hurdle in the way of that period, in certain cases, have gone in that period, especially the injection of the value of the fire. It is a minus level and it has been given to certain persons. Now the main thing is how this was It could not be looked out by an individual or a social organization. The expression of a tragedy, I am sure, it is going to have a deterrent effect on the tragedy. Similarly, a positive approach by the parents or the tragedy and the myth that drug addiction is a social stigma has to be eradicated. Further, that is a lot to be done to stop drug peddling. Because unless and until drug peddling is not stopped, nothing can be done because the drug starts flowing. We try to plug one hole which tries to come out to a different one with much more than intensity. There are numerous problems faced by the social workers, by the government and the police in stopping this particular drug traffic. But the basic thing a social worker should do is at this stage, rather than going for rehabilitation of the drug of drug addicts, I think it's better we educated masses through audiovisuals having closer rapport with the students, with the parents of the dragonics and try to educate them. Further, it's also one more thing to be noted that many times the people, they accuse the government and the police unnecessarily but this is wrong because a lot is being done. Various laws are enacted and imposed to stop this. And in fact, the all which is recorded in 87 and 88 is much, much more than what it was in the previous years. Various countries, that is, the manufacturing countries and the countries that have been used. Thereby, there could be being exchanged and a joint and action could be initiated. The police can try to identify the drug vendors. And it is for the drug addicts which has been curing the drug addicts more than the medical treatment. All I can say is let's not go for legislations, the police and the government to do everything. Let us start. Even if we are able to track one drug addict, we are doing a very great service to the nation. Try to approach the parents, talk to them and to the teachers, the colleges. We should try to diversify. Go to the grassroots level, not at the top level. 
work from the foundation. And I'm sure, at least after a decade and a half, the drug was given as an example. I thought you would also say something about the role of the youth in this era. And the subject is did not have support, but many other points would have support. Any other speaker who will be speaking next? Let us see what you think. Bombay, we have a very strong contingent. <laughs> Only doubt. We would, let me just explain. At least three points I would like to hear from you. We don't want you to give a very learned discourse on that because you should not be afraid of being wrong. We are keen to know what is your perception. Have you heard about that? Have you seen that end? Have you known anything about your problem? What is your perception? What do the people around you see in this connection? That is what is more important here. Because uh, the rest of the detailed information we can provide to you also. But we would very much like to hear from you in the area that you come from, have you seen or heard about this problem? What is the general feeling about this? If you have not heard even that, is a information, useful information. Let us see our friends from Meghalaya. 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 Would you like to come and say to what? Doesn't matter if you don't need to make a speech. You can say it to what?
not for certain prisons in India. Why? So many takers, so many posts of drug gathers and drug. We want to prevent drugs. This only the five days. What, why, where, and who, why? It's most important for prevent. What means, for example, one person is on drugs and everybody see him and now that. No. Who is drug is by the police? Then his parents come at the police station and ask, why? Then police, as they are animals, deserves their relation for the case. And then, who is the witness? Where? Coming? Where? Then, by who? Who said that? It's not the case. And uh, so many treatments. Then, for the last. So people ask, why is it why is it for it? There is no way by Nagpur Drug and Sultra Public Substance Act 1995 from Parliament. Any drug, any person who arrests by police is a by Narcotic Drug and Sultra Public Substance Act 1995. Find one last more than up and up can be here. Have you seen that you are a very bad design? This is not, this is not bad. Some money problem and money moves for drivers. According to 1994, I told my practices. 15,000 more than the age in Manipur. But now 5,000 of rehabilitants and social workers. We try to make rehabilitants. Drug Pedro, Pedro also very
And when I approached them, they solved my problems. And so I am indebted to them in some way or some manner. And perhaps next time when I see them doing any anti-social activities or perhaps in any manner disturbing any way, in any manner, I cannot go up to them and question their action. I'm already indebted to them because I know that they are all powerful. And so I might be scared to raise my voice. So perhaps, and most importantly, these are all the experts of the same college. So when you raise your voice, you are already scared. How are you going to say that? And what value do you have? Because uh, they are already in the college and they have passed from the same college, it makes all the more difficult for us. So what I need to say is that when you look at a drug addict, don't please look at the old and the mature people. Look at those who don't think they are lured by the money. Finances is great. Just supply a drug from one place to Bombay to another place at a special time or something. You get around say 300 to 500 rupees easily. This is my personal knowledge. This is my personal knowledge and I have written in tables also. So the innocent children who go to school, you can't be sure that they are going to school. Today's newspapers have a story about Bombay. Bombay has got a new name called the Q Nagri. Everybody had to stand in a queue. The most interesting was in Bombay. I thought of a race, horse racing. He said we should run in a queue. I can see who is the next in this queue. From Darjeeling. I haven't much experience with drug addicts because 
I am coming from the southernmost states of India and Kerala and I am proud to say that the problem of addiction is less in Kerala compared to other parts of India. But I have read a lot about addiction and I know that an increasing number of people, especially the youth, from uh, children, from school children to uh, students of professional courses and from college girls to adult women are becoming addicts to drugs day by day. And if this were the condition, what will be the fate for the nature of a 21st century? Shall we be able to achieve or to fulfill or to accomplish the aim of the Alma Arca Declaration? That is the health for all by 2080. No. If this condition continues, we will be having a 21st century degenerated and tightened. And I know that the drug addiction brings personal problems that raise drainage of physical and mental health and new problems like this disrupted family diet and also social problems like increased uh, road accidents and above all a spiritual and moral degradation in the society. So, repetition brings a spiritual and moral de de degradation and degradation in the society. So, the problem we have in our kind of person is to how to solve this problem of addiction. And since this is a problem very widely spreading among youths of today, it is we, the youth, youth of uh, youth itself, should take the uh, responsibility to solve this problem. And in this respect, we need a medical century, a century of non-addition, not of addition. By this I mean an evolution of the new world from a world of addiction to a world of non-addition. And for this, we can, we the youth can take the responsibility and let, it, let the youth of India be the starting point and for this, somebody uh, against addiction. Thank you. I am only there now, Southern Joseph, my name is Southern Joseph. Thank you. 
strong will, naturally will not be even easy for uh, others to convince him that that uh, is very good thing and you will get pleasure out of it. So this is the role of uh, willpower. Uh, finally, there uh, is a problem. If uh, political leaders or the uh, elderly people, they are... What I would like to say is instead of attacking the effect, why don't we try to attack the cause? That is a drug that does exist. Since today I have seen lots of laws have to be if a drug that does cause you get the punishment and we can need to buy or you get that punishment. But uh, when the drug that does uh, cause, like uh, there are lots of trials, this, that, maybe a year or two they pass by. And then maybe it's even a punishment. But then that has no effect on the society. Like other people see, fine, if you're caught, watch. You may get a three month punishment, you may have to pay your penalty, but they are only for money. Secondly, we see that in many rehabilitation centers, the nurses, the war boys, even the doctors themselves are the people who supply drugs to the drug trafficking. And
like the fetus are running. So we cannot stop this right to job of government and this government is already doing. Our job is to cut the demand. We should start action programs in schools like under the guidance of Jinnah we have started in daily schools. We have already organized so many programs in schools. We are going in schools, we are educating them, we are showing them pictures. Then you should not involve yourself in these drugs because it's very harmful for health, for mental health, for physical health. So our job is to cut the demand. We cannot stop this supply. We should not think about that government will make the law, such law, we are men will be hanged. Government is already doing. Our job is to cut the demand. We should make the action program to cut the demands. And, and presently we have to go for two jobs. One to stop the education and secondly to prevent those who are intending to go in such abuse. So thank you very much. Thank you. I hope I have not cut off too many speakers. Anybody else wanting very much to speak? Otherwise we So it's a weapon which has to be used with care. 
I would like to tell you that please don't be under this impression that other countries have solved this problem and we are lagging like behind. Malaysia had a seminar recently on this subject and they are far away from solving this problem in spite of that country. USA has been at it for 30 years and they are still struggling. Every country will have to evolve a solution according to its own requirements, perceptions. We have certain weaknesses, but we also have many strengths. Compared to USA, I can tell you that in the USA, the society is tending to be amorphous. Unlike in our country, where family is quite a big force in society, where caste, clan, religious groups are still forming a structure, social structure, which can protect the society. In the US, I had attended the Pride Conference earlier this year. And when they asked, how many of you have dinner with your parents? Not more than one third of the children had the privilege of having dinner with their parents. There is hardly any communication with their parents. Now, under those circumstances, the peer group pressure very, very important. The students there cannot get support from anybody that they can trust. Then it becomes difficult for messages or advice or counseling to go across. Luckily, our country is not like that. I think we all still care for our parents and we can say that parents care for us. Many parents don't know how to care for us. How to care for the children? I as a parent, I know that we do make mistakes. Parents make mistakes. Because we do not have here a school for parenting. There is a school for children. Yes, I have seen in many other countries school for parents also. As to how to bring up children. But here often, the parents by their indulgence, overindulgence, Give you too much money, oh my dear boy, go oh, take this 10 rupees every day or 20 rupees every day because you may have to drink some tampa cola or something and like to eat an ice cream. That is one extreme, they also get spoiled. The other extreme is where they are not given anything, not trusted. Then it means that I am a fugitive from my house. Then when a friend in the school or college gives a nice treatment, he can't make him go over and then he is lost to his family. Now statistics are really dangerous things. When you say that likely 1% of our population is addicted, if in the way of the support, in Calcutta the social interaction is extremely intense. And if the youth there take something into their head, they will certainly achieve it, there is no doubt about it. I think elsewhere also, if the youth come forward and forget that they are coming from rich groups or poor groups, this problem is in all groups. Maybe the reasons are different. One of you said, ask why. Now why is not a standard answer. There are about 15 different answers and more. Koi gam galat karne ke liye pita hai, koi gam nahi hai, khushi mein pita hai. Lekin pita ko hai. So, it is uh, not possible for you to make a common denominator that this is the cause. We found that certain distinct groups are prominent in this area. The Islam people are in it because they are low level settlers and they are living in with China. The transport people are in it because they have wide contacts and they come in contact with foreign tourists also. They have easy access to many areas. Then uh, there are the, the uh, small shopkeepers also who are in it as a trader and then also take it themselves they sink into this. Then of course the curious youth might fall a prey to it. But luckily the fresh incidence is going down and government's efforts under Mr. Kumar direction and uh, bringing them to go, they are succeeding quite enough. 
But I want to say one thing before I close. While I wish success to Mr. Kumar, one thing you must remember. Drugs have appeared on the scene. They demand eternal vigilance from you. They demand social action from you in order to remain drug free. You cannot rest complacent that once having driven drugs out of the country, then we can rest peacefully. That is not to be. You must find more substitute action programs. When you drive drugs out, certain activity, certain value systems must be generated to take their place. I find that action programs to develop the human body and mind are getting very little attention from either the students or the school authorities or even the government. In this area, I have been asking the uh, and others to do something. Maybe it is the youth services and cultural affairs which should look to it. But we cannot really just drive out drugs and leave it there. If there is a feeling that certain areas are open for achievement, for developing your potential, that will be the best medicine to counter the drugs. Of course, Olympics at that level again, there may be people who think that for getting a gold medal, they must take the drugs. But by and large, a better interest in life, in excelling yourself, in improving your body and human qualities of life, I think that is a positive answer to drugs. I would like to thank you for this opportunity. Yes.
he may be on a daycare basis, he may be coming to the counselor again and again. But the thing is that you cannot say that this is just enough. This is necessary. It is on the road, but it leads somewhere. Thank you. Sir, the government uh, nationalized all the coffee beans. Nationalized? All the coffee beans. Yeah. Theoretically, it is nationalized. But as somebody said, there is a lot of gap between what the law is and what the practice is. Sir, but government may nationalize. I once went to my garage and uh, I found a strange plant there. So I called the botanist and I said, what is this plant? He said, this is Ganja. <laughs> I said, you nationalize it quickly. But uh, that is easier said than done. Our country is vast. The efforts keep on going, destroying the crops and being grown in India. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are very much thankful to Varmaji who has always been so of inspiration to us. Actually, his organization, Society for the Promotion of Human Rights, has been found after his death. So, very much thank you him, and we hope he cooperate as his
Akan saya pasang kotak dan juga komedi Dan saya Bila ni Lisa Lady King of Rotary International And it works on social issues mainly I don't want to say much about this topic Because it's already too late But I would like to suggest Because students from all parts of India have come here Very simple A few points First of all, I think you will ask about this. Please keep away from yourself and encourage your friends also. That they will not take it or it will be safe. And try to look at if some of your friends are taking drugs, please try them to counseling center and the education center. And thirdly, you can form small groups of your own in your colleagues and school and uh, so that affected students can come to you and tell your, their problems so that I think you are uh, you can be affected uh, or you can solve your problems more efficiently as you are involved in the same age group and uh, that's all I think uh, these are the sufficient points which uh, we can uh, help in preventing this drug abuse from rising to really present, really present the whole area I think and it's better that you are part of this project and follow these small points I think they are sufficient. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gupali. You must have observed this. Five dollars are being given by Gupali. We are very much thankful for that. And for the kind care and care of our daily activities. Now, Bindu from Hansa, the school she wants to say.